For business news videos and insights, check out the O2 Business blog by clicking the link on screen or in the description below. Hey guys, Gina here with VTech and Wearable taking our first look at the Blox Modular Smartwatch. We featured this thing when it was just a Kickstarter campaign and now it's in our hands, so what can you expect? The body is stainless steel and it will be available in two colours, this brushed metal black or a shiny silver. At 12mm thick, it's on the chunky side of things, but it still looks great. It charges using a cradle and there's a 300 milliamp battery under the hood so you can expect a day to maybe a day and a half's worth of battery. This can then be supplemented with the 100 milliamp power module. At launch there will be six of those modules to choose from and they've got pictures on the back so you don't get confused because they do all look the same. You've got a GPS tracker module, an LED torch and notification center, the battery module which is a wee bit bigger, the environment module will measure altitude, temperature and humidity, there's a heart rate sensor module and the final block is a programmable button. There are two sizes of straps, one that tanks the modules and one without because you don't have to use the core with the modules, you can use it as a standalone watch. Most people can fit four to five modules around their wrist if you are going for the modular version, although my tiny, tiny wrists only took three modules total. Putting the watch together is actually pretty easy and it felt hardy enough as well, although we're keen to test out whether or not the device will come apart at all in day-to-day -day use. We can also expect to see a few minor changes as the device we have here is still a developer preview. On to specs and it has 4GB of storage, it's running on a Qualcomm Snapdragon Wear 2100 paired with 512MB of RAM. The screen is 1.39 inches, it's got an AMOLED display and a 400x400 resolution. The watch has Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and is IP68 water resistant. Chronologics OS sits inside and gives you quick access to things like weather, calendar, battery and your alarm clock, long press on any of them and you can customise your own home screen. The OS is based on Android Marshmallow, not Android Wear, so it won't be as predictable as what's currently on the market, but that does mean scope for some cool stuff. Blox is expected to start shipping by late September or October and is available for $330 on pre-order, which includes the core and four modules. When it's released, it will be $280 for just the core and $40 per module on top of that. More modules aside from these first six are en route, so do watch this space. I hope you enjoyed this quick hands-on. If you did, click that thumbs up button and make sure you subscribe to VTech and visit wearable.com for more. For business news videos and insights, check out the O2 Business blog by clicking the link on screen or in the description below.